let's go with 50 so we have some mountains in it and with mountain chance and what islands waterfalls not sure what that does and let's run through that now we have some stems here and now we can if we click play session it will generate the terrain for us according to these stems here and <laughs> we got it really high mountain that's kind of unusable <coughs> Yeah, that's a bit too high. And we have a plateau up there, that's... Nope. That's not what we wanted, so... Yay! Um, undo. Does this work? Nope. So, what we can do here is... Um, the easiest way to completely change this is just by changing this to something else and it will flatten out the height map. So I set back to that and here let's delete all the reset session. And let's take this down, way down. And I think the rest we leave at that and let's add a few stems and try this again. Okay, now we get nicer looking mountains. They're still quite high in, any, in some areas, but that's that's okay. So let's um, create the spawners and just run through them once. So will take a bit of time because it's placing textures and grass and tree for us. And then we can add water and wind to trees and throw the player in there. And then we can do the thing I actually wanted to work on, which is the um, my new toy, playing around with that. placing the, the details, meaning grass and flowers all around the terrain in areas that they would fit. Uh, 
and now we can get water around that and have the player in here. So let's run this and have a look. Okay, looks nice. And we wanted to be looking even more like. Oh, but one thing the lighting isn't right, so let's do this. Do that as well. Just go in here. Create camera effects. And set the lighting to morning. And now we have completely different lighting here. And some effects. Awesome. Yes. That's what I want. Nice. And that's the power of Gaia. Really nice plugin, but I had this one for some time now, so it's nothing new for me at least and created this terrain for us in, in a few moments. But it has the same problems as every Unity or any other engine terrain has. It has repeating textures and stretching on cliffs and some of the ground textures don't look good up close. So these these work, but they're not the nicest looking, to be honest. I mean, they came with the with Gaia, and I'm not complaining, but they could look better. And let's try to make them look better. Or well, let's try to change them, maybe completely. And for that, we need our relief pack. And here I need some place to start. So let's go in here and let me throw that into YouTube and throw it on another monitor. So that I can watch that on the side. Okay, so it's quite easy to start this out with. Just add the script in here. Let's go here. Yes. So they changed their names from the tutorial. 
which is not really uh, what I had in mind to start out with, but um, okay, really have to ring. Here it is, that's what I wanted to have. Let's select that and <coughs> okay. And now I'll edit all of these all of this stuff in here. Um that's the LOD manager. Let's go back here. And here we have one of these st settings. You have different layers for the. Took the the standard. Um, took the textures that were in here, and now I can change them um, and add normal maps and height maps to them. So let's go in here, textures, and let's take a sand. Let's, let's throw a sand texture there. that will replace our textures in here. And the next thing we want to have is some grass. Oh, we only have the few specular and normal map for that. Mm. Yeah. Terrain assets. Oh, we have forest floor. Here we have Grass Hill with height map, so let's take that one. So let's go down here and replace our grass. And do the same for the dirt. In this case, is, let's take grass and rock. Oh, that could be a bit too grey. Oh, let's take rocky dirt. Hmm. Um, let's go through here. Dry ground. Ah, oh, no, that doesn't work. Now uh, let's let's go with the ground. Oh yeah, let's go with ground. And that's ground five. Height map and normal map. And for a cliff let's Um, layered rock. And let's run this and have a look. Let's just change the textures first, so now the textures are they are still blended from before. 